So I recently had dinner with a guy who runs an oil refinery, and he said, you know, there's financial analysts that are watching his refinery with satellites. Uh, it turns out if the refinery gets cool uh, uh, in an unplanned uh, way, they know that the refinery is down and they better short the stock. Um, well, it turns out uh, there's a company called Space No that lets you do the same thing. If you're a company, you can uh, uh, buy satellite imagery and analyze it, and we're going to see why that's important right now. Who are you? Hi, so um, my name is Pavel Makalek. Um, I'm the co-founder at Space Snow, and uh, uh, we got to uh, co -found, we got to found this company with my friend. Uh, basically, there's all these satellites coming up all these companies launching cube sets so they're small satellites and then fridge sets so slightly larger satellites and then there's the established companies that have very large very expensive satellites and our idea was like well what if we could tie build one web interface that could tie in all of them together and get access to literally every single imaging satellite uh, publicly available imaging satellite in the world and then analyze it on the fly and serve the insights that you derive out of it and the information, in other words, yeah. to customers. Well, right? this, is, this is really interesting. You know, when I, when I wrote my book two years ago, Age of Context, uh, putting a cube satellite up in space costs more than a million dollars, and today it costs less than $100,000, according right. to SRI, which is one of the mm -hmm. companies that's doing that. So you're getting a lot more satellites up there. Even kids now can afford mm -hmm. to put, you know, mm -hmm. 100 grand with, together mm -hmm. and put a weather satellite up there or something mm -hmm. like that. What are you seeing up there? And, and, and how are you able to join it together? And, and what kinds of insights would a company want to hire you for? Right, so that's a very good question. So um, we, we focus on the, it's an entire value chain, right? There's people that build the satellites that make the imagery um, and then um, they serve the imagery and make it available to us. And we basically partner with basically all of them, or, or very soon we'll, we'll have access to almost all of them. Um, the, the trick is to ask where to look, what to look for, and how to analyze the data, right? And that's what we do. And the kind of insights that a company um, would hire us to do, or that products that we would make that many companies would buy, is uh, very frequent uh, monitoring, mostly of industrial facilities, that directly, uh, because the activity at those industrial uh, facilities correspond to economic activity. Yeah. And if you aggregate the economic activity at many thousands or even tens of thousands of facilities, you get a very, very good, very recent uh, uh, in, uh, measure, a heartbeat of an entire country's economy. Well, you know, like an oil refinery has uh, these smokestacks mm -hmm. that have fires burning off right. of them if the plant is running, right? right? And if it stops running, the fire goes out, right? right? Um, or it gets really hot because it blew up or something right. like that. Um, and are you looking for that kind of data? And, and do these satellites have that kind of data on, on a regular, you know, hourly basis or something like that? Well, so th this is the thing, right? If, if you want to look for like a plume, a stack out of a factory, that's, it's pretty small. So you need a very high resolution satellite and that's very expensive. And there turned out to be not that many of them that can do this highly okay. specialized work. So no, it's not every hour. So what, what would you, what It's a combination of, yeah. the thing you do. It's like different cars, right? You have different cars for different purposes, right? You have, you have the super fast sports cars, you have the utility cars, and you have the- uh, um, Yugos. You have the Yugos, <laughs> right? In combination, all those cars together Victoria. perform a certain economic function, right? They allow you to transport goods around. Well, it's the same with satellites. You have, they come in different shapes and sizes, and the smaller, cheaper ones, you can build more of them, and when you have more of them, it means the repeat on, in other words, your ability to, s to image the same spot on the Earth repeatedly is faster, right? Yeah. And the data allows you to get a certain amount of insight because the resolution, in other words, the size of that pixel Right, it's slightly larger. What, what on the cheap ones? What is it? Twenty feet per pixel, or it's is around it uh, three meters? to five meters. Three to five meters. So that's you can kind of get a truck, a large truck, or you can definitely see buildings pretty easily. 
but individual cars are tough, right? Because an individual car is about five meters big, so it's one pixel, one car, one pixel, yeah. right? So then you, then you gotta get a little bit more imaginative and you um, try to go for material types. It's like, well, okay, I can't see the individual objects, but it seems uh, it's no, no longer metallic objects, it's, it's just barren grass. So what's going on? Why isn't this factory producing? You know? yeah. Why aren't there cars on their parking lot? Why aren't there trucks when they were yesterday? So you see, um, so this is totally big data, right? Um, in, in, in the sort of digital realm, you're used to billions, you know, gazillion data points. In the physical infrastructure of our everyday world, there's not that many data points, yeah. right? There's over all the roads in the world, there's about six million kilometers, not that much. Yeah. All the roads, all the paved roads, all in all the countries put together, right? It's about 50,000 ships, like commercial uh, tanker ships and uh, container ships, uh, and just a couple hundred ports, hundred. So you could fly a uh, satellite over Oakland uh, shipping oh, yeah. containers yeah. and sort of see how busy the port is, and you could guess how, right. how good the economy is doing, right? Well, how about all the ports of the United States and all the ports of China or Russia or whichever particular country you want to get insights into, right? And you would need to have that imagery on a s even sub-daily basis, multiple times a day. Let, let's see it, and yeah, while we're seeing it, uh, let's, check let's it talk out. about y y who your customer base is. I, I can see why a government would want this information, <laughs> well, and maybe a big company like a Chevron or something like yeah. that. Get, uh, go ahead and show yeah, us what it so, looks like. Um, so it's basically a, imagine you just enter, it, we call it a magic box, right? You just enter an address, a date, and you want all the imagery, yep. right? Not complicated. So let's see what's, what's available for, I mean, this part of San Francisco. So here's our dates that are available. There's one from uh, 11th of May, so about two weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. So let's check that one out. Uh, Mind you, this is not like on Google Maps, you know, you, you can't find this. Uh, so, all right, so this part, okay, cool. So, uh, we see some houses, we see some cars, you know, stuff is there. And then we have a more, uh, this uh, looks pretty, um, you know, the pixels are much larger. It's, it shows the same area, but it's in a satellite that has a much higher repeat, right? So, the thing is, you gotta combine this stuff, right? Some, some super high resolution, low resolution, and there's some satellites in between that kind of, in between this and this. And then, well, what do you use that for, right? A picture, okay, fine, a picture is just a picture, right? Well, what if we want change? Yep. On any given address, right? So let's look at this location in San Francisco, change between 2012 and 2015, okay? So uh, this now has to actually go talk to the providers and get the, get the imagery for those two dates and, uh, and compare it and serve you the response, right? Now this is just the web interface for the, uh, for the front. Now okay, here we go. Kind of, to do this kind of search, how much would this cost or is Well, this look, uh, I can't talk about pricing because okay. this is a very sensitive, this is an industry that's very sensitive about pricing. Got it. Uh, okay. Because but this is something a big company would do. This is, well, not, this is not something Robert Scoville puts $20 well, into a credit card. No, yeah. you could. That, that's the thing. <laughs> we, are, we are actually now moving down, you know, back in the Cold War, only governments had satellites. In the 90s and early 2000s, large corporations had satellites. And now we're moving to enable this functionality that individual consumers can have this satellite. So a farmer might, you, you know, could, yeah. I could get you a subscription on this platform uh, with a given amount of, usage, right? It's metered usage. So you would get a certain number of credits for a certain price and you could just use and, you know, go away with it. Yes, individuals now can. It is within, you know, it, it wouldn't be, uh, it, you could afford it. Okay. Yeah. And so, so what are we seeing? Well, what we're seeing is that between 2012 and uh, right now, so the last available image, this location in San Francisco, uh, what's changed? So someone probably uh, repainted the roof of their house over here. This, this house probably had something done as well, and then this house on this street, and then looks like a couple other houses probably had their roofs done, right? Now, the thing is, this is on demand, right? You can just enter any other address or any other dates for literally anywhere in the world. Yeah. So you can see why this would be very interesting for a variety of customers. We have a very prototypal uh, object detector. So again, you enter the address, so let's try 
San Fran and the latest available niche and let's count the cars, right? Let's Could you put in like Dubai and watch Dubai being yeah, built? Because Dubai want... is only 15 years old, you know? Yeah, let's, I mean, let's try, right? This is, the algorithm has never seen Dubai, so let's see Dubai. Uh, it's UAE, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, UAE. All right, let's see what's the change in the last three years in the downtown of Dubai, because it just grabs the downtown, Got it. the central, like an area about a kilometer by a kilometer. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works, right? I mean, um, that's, so of course, when you make requests for anywhere in the world, it's, it's an experimental thing, right? It's like not always is the imagery available. Yeah. Not always do you have enough dates, right? This is very much like we're working with our industry partners. Oh, well, we got lucky, okay? So the algorithm has never seen this area before, yeah. right? Uh, so, well, it just grabbed some highway. So it seems this highway wasn't built in the last three years. So it's, this is all, but uh, this building, is probably there's a lot of red change uh, and then this building probably needs further investigation let's look if we can go back let's see what the dates are available for Dubai let's check that out first okay uh, and then let's go further back in time and see it goes about six or seven years back so let's see how much change okay so we go 2013 and we go back to 2010 okay. so let's try 2010 and 2013 okay all right Dubai, Dubai, UAE, let's go to 2010, June 9th, and let's go, the latest image for this specific location is that we have available is 2013. It changes, it's very different for, it's individual on an individual location basis. Yeah. Of course, locations in Maybe the states. Maybe you should try New York or some, some city that you know you have a lot more coverage. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But as time goes, as we get more and more customers, as we send up more satellite operators, uh, then there's more incentives for the satellite guys to provide us uh, what's called tasking. So our ability to request, it's like we want this location and this location, or we want yeah. a constant, okay, well, look at this. All right, this is more interesting. So you see the highway is being built. Yeah. See this man? Yep. Okay, so Which makes sense because Dubai is a fairly new yep. city. Uh, so this was, was done. This, yeah, yeah, this part was running in 2010 already, but uh, this part wasn't finished. So it highlights the entire regions that were completely uh, that were just new. So probably in the new image, you get these three lanes down here. So they highlighted as change. Okay. So it's on demand. It's SaaS, right? So you it's a new industry that we're going to learn new things. Now, could a farmer use this or is this really going to be for governments and, and high-end businesses at this time? Well, look, we want to we wanna move, yes, the answer is absolutely yes. We want to move, yank the satellite technology out of the uh, Cold War clutches of just the government and large corporations, right? That's the, uh, the uses will stay there and we will, of course, do yeah. those too. But we want to make it... No, and farmer is a big business. Even that's big business. Right. Farmers, absolutely, this is completely affordable on a per acre basis. But we also want to go even lower, uh, higher utility, lower price points, and that's consumers. Like yeah. we want to go after individuals, right? And that's never been done before. Right? Now, if if you, uh, we're getting a little bit off track here, but if uh -huh. uh, if I had a way to request data like of this mm -hmm. site or a farm. Could I, as an individual citizen, go and fly a drone over that uh, place and get you better data than a satellite could? Okay, so because this is a, a yeah. drone can get much closer to what you're actually trying to to learn about than a, than a satellite up in space. So this is a good question, right? If there's basically three regimes, right? There's you got the satellite at the very top, you got the airplane somewhere in mid, mid, mid yeah. in between, and then you got the drone. They're actually very different regulatory frameworks, yeah. right? Different laws. Yeah. There's different regulations for drones different regulations for airplanes and different regulations for satellites and so um, I'm not actually a specialist on drones we, we platform agnostic we will have drone feeds as well into our platform but uh, they're highly localized right yeah. you see for the stuff that we do but a farmer gets permission to sure. fly over his, yes. his farm yes uh, it's it's an off question because obviously it's not uh, integrated yet is there non-visual data integrated into the system? Um, you know, if I'm a farmer, I want to watch nitrate levels in my in my soils, not just uh, visual. You know, sure. was there crop damage sure. on, on a 
Yeah, so we go, of course, we, we focus um, uh, on like material detection and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And so um, um, right now we do have non-imagery data in the platform that helps us with the object detection. So proprietary and publicly available uh, geodata. Uh, and we're constantly working on basically different use cases for different industries. And in different industries, you would use different auxiliary data sets, right? Uh, so you wouldn't have the imagery, you have different wavelengths, of course, uh, you know, thermal, uh, UV, different indices you can create, and radar as well. Radar is very interesting because it can image at night and goes right through clouds. It's yeah. very interesting. It's very good for determining materials. So we're gonna have that plugged in as well. So y the answer is yes. Uh, Asymptotically, we will approach a situation where basically we will have a complete coverage of the whole world on a sub-daily basis and cover all the wavelengths, right? And that actually, that's very powerful when all put together. The, the key is integration. You gotta integrate all those data feeds together. Now, when General Motors built a plant in China, uh, China sold them a, a plot of land on a floodplain and GM didn't know that. Can you? Uh, use this kind of data to start to sort of see that uh, that or can you mix uh, elevation data on top of the satellite data to know you know to do it for other things like mm. buying a headquarters or mm -hmm. uh, thinking about earthquake uh, faults mm -hmm. and overlaying that on top of uh, uh, data like this mm -hmm. yeah so that would be a, what's called the DEM digital elevation model um, so yes, we could absolutely integrate a DEM into our uh, platform. It would um, probably be a D I mean, there's specialized companies that just do DEMs. I mean, it's that much of a high-tech yeah. specialized process. I'm and just trying to feel where your company is so going and what, your, what services you're gonna be offering to your customers. Well, what yeah. we're gonna be offering is basically integrated solutions for the different industry verticals, Okay. right? Each of those verticals will have a flagship product that's highly customized for the vertical. So for, for example, what does that mean? So for manufacturing, it will be a manufacturing tracker of entire countries, yeah. okay? For, uh, for shipping, it would be a detector of ships, not just through the AIS beacons, which all ships have beacons, but also the ships that turn off their beacons. Why? Why have they turned off the drugs. beacon? <laughs> yeah, drugs, uh, illegal fishing, or smuggling. Yeah. Right. Now there's a way how to catch those ships, and you know we, we might do that too. Uh, for transportation, right, or utilization of like parking lots, not just the archetypal of carting cars in parking lots of Walmart to see how Walmart's doing, but uh, which is, you know, helps Wall Street, right? But what about helping American cities, right? Better manage the infrastructure. Yeah. So this, and, and you need to automate this because this used to be highly, you had to be a consultant to do this. And it was a very expensive consulting job and it would take a year or two to finish. No, you, you want to empower the users to do it themselves with to the right tools. To wrap up, because we're out of time. Uh -huh. uh, how are you guys funded? And tell me about the company behind this. So we're, we're just, we're seed funded. Uh, uh, we have one, one seed investor who, who uh, when we pitched him this idea about a year and a half ago, it was crazy. I mean, it's like, you know, we're gonna see everywhere and analyze everything. It's, it's a bit of a stretch, uh, but he, he, he stood by us and uh, uh, really believes in the vision. Uh, there's two co-founders uh, and uh, we are now signing up for his customers. So enterprise and government, uh, and we'll use that as a spring base for an A round. Very cool. Where do we learn more about it? www.spacenow.com. Very cool. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks a lot for having us.